Hi, I'm Chad with Teacher's Corner. Today I'm going to go over a new feature for our premium users, and it's adding fonts from, that are installed on your computer and using those with our worksheet makers. It's There's a couple of steps to it, and I just wanted to let you know that um, it's not that hard to do, and you can add up to five. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. What I want to do is go into one of the worksheet makers that has a font list. I'm going to slide down. Again, this is for our premium, um, our premium members. So I want to click to add any font and it's going to come up with five options to where I can put in new fonts that are installed on my computer. You're going to enter them into this box and if it finds them it'll let you know that it found it and that it ins installed it. First, let me show you how to find them. On Windows, I'm going to go into my search box in the lower left corner. This is Windows 10, and I'll just type fonts. What that does is it opens a box that has all of the fonts that are installed on my computer. If you're using Mac, Mac, you want to go to your Finder, go to Applications, and then Font Book. Finder Applications Font Book, and you can look in there for your whole list of fonts similar to this. And you can see little pictures of what they look like, like this Burnstown Dam Regular. What I want to do is I want to copy this name exactly. It has to be copied exactly or else it's not going to work. So Burnstown Dam Regular, because I like this font. And then I'll click Update Font. If it finds it, it'll say Record Successfully Updated, and you can click OK. And it also puts that font after that line. Um, this one's a little harder to read when it's that small, but it'll work in the in once you get it into um, once you get it updated into the uh, Puzzle Maker. I'm going to go ahead and put one more. Um, I'm going to do this Chiller Regular. So open up the window, put chiller, regular, and if I don't type it in right, it'll let me know. But it finds it, it puts the font after there, and it's ready to go. When I'm done, hit exit, and you'll notice that it is not in the font list yet. So I have to refresh this page to get it into the font list. So if I already have a puzzle up here, You'll want to save the puzzle so that you can retrieve it because this will clear out the form. I hit refresh and hopefully we'll streamline this in the near future but I wanted to get this up as quick as possible um, so that everyone can use it. Now I'll load something into our table so we're all ready to go and if you notice in the font list now those first two that I added are at the top of the list. Again, this is for our premium users. I'm going to go ahead and choose those two so that I can use them in the puzzle and make the crossword puzzle. It creates a crossword puzzle and now in my font list I have those two. And uh, I'll just go in to show you that it is now there. You can, you can do whatever you like with that font. You can change the colors and those fonts are able to be used inside of your puzzle. So again, the goal here is to copy them exactly as they are listed as installed on your computer. It has to do a search for it. Um, if you don't list them exactly, then um, they will not be installed. Another cave caveat that we need to uh, mention is that is for this computer. Um, this computer I have Chiller Regular installed. Now if I go to a work computer or a school computer and it doesn't have that installed, it'll bring up the same list but it'll say that it cannot find the font. And that's okay. If you want to use a different font at school, you can go ahead and update the font or actually look up a font a different font, put it in that same place, um, 
Earwig Factory Regular. We'll try that. And it updates it. So you can overwrite them as many times as you want. You can have five total um, to add to your puzzles and it'll remember them the next time you come to the site. So, so long as you're on the same computer um, or the new computer that you're using has the same fonts installed, they'll be available to you. So again, notice it doesn't have it in there now, that earwig that I had, but I have a puzzle in there, so I want to make sure that it's saved. It is. So that when I reload it and it clears out the form, I can go ahead and reload my puzzle really quick which is not really necessary for me right now because I'm just showing you, but now that earwig factory regular is in there and ready for use. So we hope you like the new feature. Um, be sure and send us an email or send feedback down here at the bottom. Or if you want, um, if you want us to reply, leave your email address, but we would really like to hear your feedback on how you like this feature. Let us know, let us know if you have any problems with it, um, and then give us as many details as you can, and we will try and fix anything. Again, this is kind of in the beta stages, just getting it up, so we need to know what's wrong with it and how we can fix it for you. So, let us know how you like it, and thank you for supporting the Teacher's Corner. Um, we appreciate your support.